is all smiles and he's got these sneakers and big socks. As a matter of fact, I come from a little island in the South Pacific. Uh -huh. It's around 300 miles south of the no. beach here. No. <laughs> this time, pal, look at that. How did you do to a man? I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. <laughs> Uh-oh, I carry him to a hospital. No! I, oh, I don't think you should. Just take off, man. Find your horse you came in on. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. So sorry about this. So sorry. I love it when Arnold says sorry in movies. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. My name is Cammy. Um, I took a little break, but I'm back, and we're going to watch Twins today. I'm continuing my Arnie journey, and if you guys want to go watch my other Arnie reactions, I have watched Commando, and Predator, and Conan, and Total Recall. So I've hit some big Arnie films, but now we're going into Twins, and I'm excited because I very much like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to like, comment, and subscribe, go follow Popcorn Roulette on Instagram at Popcorn Roulette, and you can follow me if you like at Cami Artist. So let's get into this twins movie, which I don't know anything about except the, the actors. Um, if you want to watch the full watch along, that will be over on Patreon. And with that, let's get into the movie. Good old Universal. I got my ginormous water bottle. So I was told this is 1988, <laughs> which is the same year as Die Hard. And I love Die Hard. <laughs> if you've seen the reaction, it's over on Criminal Content and I love Die Hard. Okay. Got some sweet music mixed with the... On his 35th birthday. Oh, on his... Decided to tell Julius Benedict the truth about himself. The truth. G Genetic research department. Julius <laughs> already knew that he was the product of a scientific experiment okay. conducted by the American government, a top secret experiment designed to produce a physically, mentally, and spiritually advanced human being. Oh, okay. I didn't know the movie was going this way. He had not one but six fathers, all very distinguished men, especially chosen for their genetic excellence. Okay, they're vetting to make a super baby. He knew about Mary Ann Benedict, the remarkable young woman who was selected to be his mother. So I, I guess those are all of his fathers. And the doctor. I'm guessing these are Arnold's. He had long lived with the tragic knowledge that his mother died while giving birth to him. Oh. Now, what Julius did not know, after he was born, his mother gave birth to another baby boy. Oh, twins. <laughs> yeah, Danny DeVito and Arnold. Now, that's, a, that's an odd combo, of course. <laughs> <laughs> for twins. Lisa, the baby is already so much bigger. <laughs> I don't... Do I have a brother? He didn't know? Yeah. So he didn't grow up with him, I guess. We were sent to an orphanage in Los Angeles. At the same time, I brought you here to the island. <laughs> All life here he on lives the on an island. Helping me with my research. You must find him. Aw. That's sad. He wasn't equipped to deal with the outside world. Why did they not equip him? <laughs> Julius could speak 12 languages. He was pure in body and in spirit. <laughs> but for the first time, he knows how Julius to fight. would not listen to me. He's probably just like me. Aw. <laughs> this is kind of adorable, though. <laughs> it's like... I'm going off in a boat to find my brother. This island with an airport was 27 miles away. I'm just wondering why. He had become obsessed with the idea that his brother Vincent was in like some kind of trouble. 
and desperately needed his help. Okay, I'm just wondering why did they put him on an island? Like, they made these babies. Oh no! Oh no. Oh. Never thought I'd see Danny DeVito climbing down out a window. Vince! I thought you broke up with him. I did, I did, I did, I did. Something tells me he would not be faithful. No, I promised Marnie that I wouldn't give you any money, didn't I? <sighs> Don't do that thing with your eyes anytime. How would that even work with that noise? Maybe millions of people go by, but they all disappear from view. I only have eyes for you, Linda. I only have eyes for you. Man. Uh, it's the baby clay. What? Baby what? Where's the little shit? Oh, you'll have to be more specific. <laughs> Take out the papers and the trash, or you don't get no spending cash. <laughs> hey, oh. Did they let his brother know that he's coming? He's so happy. <laughs> Look at him with his shorts and his jacket. <laughs> I think only had one bite. Oh, that's so funny. Look at it. There. <laughs> Is this a Rambo poster? He's like, nah. I'm into the Clean Brothers for twenty thousand dollars. Oh, money for my own shit. I got a nice BMW up on four stall twenty. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be interesting when these two meet up, team up. <laughs> I'll take all of these you can get. Yeah. Every okay. single one. All right. Tony. Yeah. All right. All right. For you. All right. All right. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Wait, so you just sold it? Whoa, whoa, Tony. Mm -hmm. There's only 4,000 here. I mean, usually for a car like this. 4,000. Everything's tough. Everything. So, now look. My, how the car market has changed. <laughs> He has all smiles, and he's got these sneakers and big socks. As a matter of fact, I come from a little island in the South Pacific. Uh -huh. It's around 300 miles south of the west of beach. Uh -huh. ah! This time, pal, look at that. How did you do to a man? I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. <laughs> the, the... Uh-oh, I carry him to a hospital. No. I... Oh, I don't think you should. Just take off, man. Find your horse you came in on. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. So sorry about this. So sorry. I love it when Arnold says sorry in movies. $53, are you out of your mind? Your vehicle's in a handicap zone, if you didn't notice. So do I look normal to you? <laughs> I'll need your driver's license, sir. Oh, uh, look, look, I'm, I'm sorry I lost my temper. Driver's I'm license, reason. please. Look, I had a very bad day. I'm very driver's sorry. Driver's license. I wonder why. You got over 200 outstanding parking tickets, Mr. Benedict. Yeah. You just had your birthday. Well, your driver's license just expired. Happy birthday, watch your head. Whoa, busted. <laughs> that was bound to happen. This is where my brother grew up. I'm so happy he had so many children to play with. And that's where he must have slept. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. How did you know? Oh, it's the one I would have chosen. It's the one closest to the fire extinguisher. <laughs> I could have given the alarm and saved all the other orphans. That's so cute. He looks so happy. Sister Maria, his biology teacher. Oh, I always liked biology. He disgraced Sister Maria, who had to leave the order. Then he stole all the money from the library fund and ran away. Huh. You know where he might be? Jail. A man of his character can only be in jail. Well, he's about to be. You're full of goodness, Julius. I pray you'd never find him. Oh, that's harsh. Benedict! I guess he's starting to get the picture a little bit. So that must be him. <laughs> His face. Don't corrupt him. I'm looking for Vincent Benedict. You got him. <laughs> Where are he's gonna like drag him into this life of doing things he should not be? Let's steal cars. I have rode halfway across the world. <laughs> I just rode a day, but they... Okay. 
Kenny, show him. I've looked for this. Oh, I want him to hear that first part again. <laughs> Vincent. Dearest Vincent. Dearest. My name is Julius, and I'm your twin brother. <laughs> oh, obviously. The moment I sat down, I thought I was looking into a mirror. We are not identical twins. <gasps> oh, no. No. You want to help me get out? Yes, right now. Well, money talks and bullshit walks. I'm so confused. Wow. That's slang, huh? <laughs> I pay right now. You pay now. Okay, Vince. <laughs> okay. Oh. I hope you didn't blow your wad back there on the tickets because I'm gonna need a lot more money to get my car released here. I have more money. You do? Oh, don't take advantage of him. I love you. Ease up on the love talk, okay? Because I'm gonna be tossing my cookies in a minute. <laughs> That's more slang. <laughs> he can identify that it's slang. It's just... I'm so excited. Now we can go to museums together, talk philosophy together, read books talk together. Talk philosophy read together? Chess together. Get lost together. Wait, come on. Listen. That's... So full of energy. So full. This is beautiful. Where are you guys going out to Hawaii? Catch some of them big waves? Yeah, something like that. Uh-oh, we got our bad guys. Bad guy music. I like how they put their sunglasses on and their <laughs> gloves. Oh. It's trying to recognize that. I don't know if that's the guy. I'll give you a call, okay? Goodness. Oh, Al, to... save me. She barely left the room and he threw that away. Oh. Time's up, Vincent. Bet you wish your brother was with you now. Oh. I felt that. Oh, there he is. Like my work. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Vulcan net pinch there. I, mean, I don't know what the problem is, but I'm sure it can be resolved without resorting to violence. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Deflect everything. You don't know what kind of an enemy I am. Who are you? Oh, I'm Vincent's brother. We're twins. <laughs> Dang. I have no respect for those with no respect for logic. <laughs> You're a very stupid person. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably very harsh for him. I love it when you hit people, George. Oh! <laughs> He's like, maybe I'll keep this guy around. Actually, I hate violence. <laughs> How much money do you owe? Now, don't lie to me. 10,000. It's kind of a small amount, but you know. 20,000. Mm. Do this morning. Come on. <laughs> he just smiles. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm with you, I won't let anyone harm you, okay? <laughs> I completely forgot. I promised this friend of mine, Sammy, that I would pick his car from the airport. Put it in the slot. Uh, would you do me a big... I was going to say, does he know anything about driving in a car? Do you have a manual, please? A manual? Oh. Forgot to leave the keys. A lot of handicapped children are gonna be very disappointed. Handicapped children? Yeah, this car was supposed to be auctioned off at their charity drive tomorrow. Oh, well, let's go get something to eat. Well, maybe we should try to open it ourselves. Do you really think we should do that? It's for children. <laughs> you got a point. It's okay. Arnold is gonna influence him. What do you know? Beginner's luck. How did he know that that would do that? See, if you lift the rear end of a car to an angle greater than 45 degrees, the mercury switch activates the automatic cutoff system so that the alarms computer thinks that the car is being towed away and shuts off. <laughs> Not many people could do that. <laughs> You got this, Arnold. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I am amazed how well Very it's good, going. Julie. How well it's going. This guy. Oh, oh. Sing down Why did they seclude him on an island without any worldly smarts? Fly it to the brake. That's the thing next to the gas. On a brake panel. Very gently. You got it. Bye, Vincent. <laughs> Wow. Oh boy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh there go the airbags. That's what I call fun. Then the airbags have disappeared. You know, I can teach you that, Vincent. <laughs> Julie is. Let me tell you something about America. Nobody likes a smart ass, all right? I should have edited it right. Vince is a truly romantic soul. I can't hear this anymore. Mm. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Knew this was coming. I had no idea that that these magazines have things like this inside inside them. You didn't? <laughs> or have you been a desert yeah. island? Pretty much, yeah. In the tropical island in the South Pacific, sounds 300 nautical miles. <laughs> Your brother? That's right. My twin brother, Vincent. <laughs> Hello. Your charming sister, Marty. Sisters? He's like, it's perfect. I've only been driving an hour. <laughs> Linda mean, is your girlfriend, isn't she? Yeah, kind of. Kind of, he's right. I have the highest respect for women. You're a virgin. That's private. Well, he's been on an island. This is sweet Julius. Okay, here we go. You named your cat Julius. What was this about to say? Oh. Feast your eyes. Dinner is served. Yummy. <laughs> His reactions. Well, they both did that the same. <laughs> Setting up the bad guys. I think he's a bad guy, right? Let me tell you something for your own good, Julius. It's a crock. I liberated this from my file at the orphanage. I'm just curious why they separated them and all of those details. The request for orphan's benefits for Vincent Benedict has been denied. According to our files, his mother did not die during birth. She's not dead. What? The current artist for her at 172 Canning Glen Drive, Los Angeles. Vincent's case seems to be one of simple abandonment, and as such, he's ineligible for aid. That's right. But Vincent, if they have lied to us about Mama for yeah. all these years, maybe they lied to her too. I was gonna we say, got to find her. this is all very fishy. We haven't forgotten about you. You better have our money tomorrow morning, or else. Or else what, you blimp? Oh. He wasn't joking. Who are you? I'm Webster. Webster? I got my driving gloves. I got my driving glasses. I got my driving hat. There's no car. I got no car. The car was there. The merchandise was in the trunk. Your instructions were on the cassette. He wants more money. Oh, maybe they'll play the cassette. <laughs> the parking attendant thought we were going to Hawaii. The parking attendant. He liked the car. We put on those damn loud shirts so we look like tourists. Oh. 20 years of service. Not one of my clients has ever seen my face. I don't think that's... Oh, boy, yep. Oh, hey. Oh. He's not gonna hesitate. Please! Is he going to find his mom? Could you tell me who lives here? Uh, Grandpa, this man wants to talk to you. We're just looking for the dads. And I know this may sound strange, but I'm looking for someone that lived here a long time ago. Marianne Benedict. Yeah, he knows. She was my mother. It's like that. I'm your father. One of them. You're Marianne's son? I don't know. That looks just like you, Grandpa. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> Confirmation. Put it together. Don't try to hide it. Yeah, he's not. Dad? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, maybe uh, technically speaking. 
Dad, this is incredible. I, I mean, I don't I know. I think we can both use a drink. Why don't? Why don't we go inside? One of my father's. Did you come? One <laughs> of my father's. <laughs> Cause I have six. Now he's gonna play the cassette. Okay. More information. Mr. Webster, I hope you're happy with the vehicle. When you get near Houston, phone 713-555-0342 and ask for uh, uh, Beetroot McKinley. He will arrange to trade you a briefcase for the merchandise. Thank you. Straightforward. Uh, the times I've wondered what would have happened if I'd have married her. Said she was afraid to have any more children. They told her you had died at birth. Who told her we died? See? Vincent so hurt. The guy with the clipboard. He supervised the experiment for the government. He uh, still runs a genetics lab at Los Alamos, New Mexico. I'll have to pay him a visit. He's kind of a head, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> but uh, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> that I am going to deliver any damn Cadillac unless I know for sure that I have... He doesn't need to... 20 for my cut. 20? Okay. What are you little shit? Right, Peckerwood? Because I was wondering what the original amount was. Well, I'm a reasonable man. Uh, about 15. The deal is five. Oh. Yeah, it's way off. If you can do better than five million dollars, <gasps> oh. you take it. Oh. <gasps> oh, never mind. <clears throat> 20? That's for 20 million. I'll see you in Houston. After all, fair is fair. I'll just have to find it in my heart to live with your offer. Well, good. Well, good. I was gonna say, you need to find out the original offer before you start asking. Five million dollars. Five million dollars. Five million. All of his patio furniture inside the house. What? Going on a road trip. Oh, my man in New Mexico probably knows where mom is. Oh, great! Oh, yeah. Listen, she just abandoned you. He he wouldn't care, anyways. New New Mexico is on the way to Houston. A lot of places are on the way to Houston, Julia. You should get your luggage. We'll go see the man. I take a shower. <laughs> I get my bags. And get your bag. He'll be gone. Oh. This place is a zoo. Wait, wait. Good timing. It's not my birthday anymore. Morning made for Julia. You're going somewhere and you weren't even going to say goodbye. Take out your papers. It's only going to be gone a couple days. I baked you some cookies. I, I guess it was a dumb idea. No, not at all. I, I'm i really looking forward to tossing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tossing the cookies. I like it. Oh, I had birthday too. Oh, that's right. You're twins. Yeah, what is in there? I don't know what it is, but it's worth a fortune. Vincent, I'm coming with you. When they... Aren't they really going to go with them? I'm going to tell everybody to go to Vince just asked us to go to New Mexico and Texas with him. This is a great idea. <laughs> we all go together? Yeah. It's OK. Come out. <laughs> it's OK to come out. They don't have anything to bring with them. They're just gonna go. Maybe they'll stop by their house and pick up stuff. <laughs> Not that it's like super important. <laughs> now. But logistically, yes. Where do I find this very special person, Mr. Vince Benedict? He's probably gonna catch the drift that they are trying to complete his job. Where's daddy? Oh, there's the piece of paper. Ah, uh, Benz, we know you're in there. Come on, we just want to talk to you. No, oh, they're gonna die? I mean, he would... Who are you? It's not really important, is it? I was just feeding the cat, and then I was gonna leave. I asked you a question. I don't think you wanna... We're the Klein brothers. Dig any deeper, guys. Discussion. But you're looking for Vince Benedict, right? Right. My Vince Benedict? So what difference does it make who I am? Hit him, brother. Yeah. Ooh. Brothers seem to have a problem with their feet. Could be contagious. Bye-bye. Oh. Ow. Ow. I'm surprised he didn't kill them all. <laughs> oh, no. 
the music paired with this is really funny. Beautiful sunset. Sorry, I tore your shirt, Vincent. I don't know what happened. All I did was flex my muscles. T-shirt is saying. Born to be bad. Born to be bad. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. It's his first t-shirt. His first t-shirt. I don't need a king size bed. I always sleep on the floor. Oh, what? Why? All I want him to do is tell us the truth. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you're talking about. He's lying. Make him tell us the truth. <laughs> no! <laughs> Just buzz down the door. That's our mother. Those are our six fathers. That's Werner. And that is you. Is you. Everything okay, Dr. Traven? Yes, it's okay. I'll take care of it. Now that you know you can bust down a door. Well, Vincent, it turned out just like I thought you would. What'd you do, escape from prison? What? How'd you know my name? Was this some kind of experiment to like, hold on. I named you. It's like they set them on two different paths. So this would be the outcome. We sealed this door the day after you were born. It's kind of weird experiment. Well, come on in. This is what you wanted to see. They want to find their mom. You came out first, of course. We weren't expecting him. Oh, okay. Maybe there wasn't some plot. <laughs> I got really suspicious. He mentioned jail. But instead of just one perfect kid, mom had the two of us. The embryo did split in two, but all the purity and strength went into Julius. All the crap that was left over went into what you see in the mirror every morning. Jeez. Excuse me. I'm a side effect. You haven't got the brain power to understand this, and I haven't got the time. Show's over. Uh, we'll smack that guy. Tell us where our mother is. Whispering Pines. It's an artist colony 200 miles north of Santa Fe. You're lying to me. I'll be back. I'll be back. What? He says it again? I didn't know this was a thing with Arnold. I mean, I thought it was just Terminator. Wait, what year was Terminator? No, Vincent. Your I life is just about really to quick. begin. I'm genetic garb. Well, obviously, okay, wait. Terminator was way before. Not way before, but. I was thinking this came before Terminator, and I don't know why. We're so much the same. How come we're so goddamn different? We had six fathers. And don't forget, I was taken to a beautiful island. <laughs> I was protected, educated. Nobody to love you. I mean, all life taught you was that the only person you could count on was yourself. That poor guy. Family? You mean like with a Christmas tree? And a real home, where you'll always be welcome. Always? Even when you've been bad. <laughs> Even when you've been bad. Aw. See, he just needs love. Can I help you? Oh, yeah. do I look like I need help? Here's the problem right here. We gotta do a whole ensemble. <laughs> and then they're twinning, matching outfits, right? Do I look okay? Aw. Yeah. Loose. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I got something for you. Yeah. Try these other sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> now you can say it. I'll be back. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Going down the runway. You're going to dance with. Uh. <laughs> you dance? They not teach him how to dance. You probably never did that before either. No. No. Oh. Come on, let's assume the dance position. I give you a couple of perters. I really appreciate that, Let's Vincent. <laughs> yeah. You stepping on him? If not, now try to count without moving your lips. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Going the boar, three hundred miles south, southwest of Fiji. Quick. He did it. He just doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Way to go, Julie. 
actually the Assyrians were the developed Syrians. the beer, yes. But it was the Egyptians who were the first people to perfect the malt fermentation process. He probably really never has had a drink. It's all from books. Till tonight, I've never had a beer. <laughs> 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 So drunk. Marnie, he's got the hots for you, babe. Tonight is your lucky night. I know it. I don't think Marnie really likes me. Oh, are you kidding me? Piece what? of cake. You guys just kissed. Were you nervous the first time? I was 12 years old and she was a nun. Talk about pressure. 12 years old? Since since you and I first met, uh, my life has been just getting better and better. Well, that's nice. I feel like sometimes, like, Picking you up, <laughs> love you, and hug you, hug you, hug you, <laughs> and hug you, hug you. The other guy's like, okay. Oh, lay off the beer, Jules. <laughs> they traveled all that way. How did they know they were there? Did you tell anyone we were coming to Santa Fe? Oh. I called work and told them we wouldn't be in for a few days. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we were fired. You hated that job. Nice of your boss to tell us where we can find you. Oh, no. Arnold will take care of this situation. We want to take Vince out to the parking lot and kill him. Oh, let's go. Don't touch him. <laughs> Do you remember him? You wouldn't want me to hurt the lovely lady, would you? You moved too soon. It's getting serious. The second rule in a crisis situation. Uh-oh. Huh? My cousins, Sam and Dave, get these jerks out of here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. I thought he was going to smash it on his head. Oh, I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> oh, I love when you hit people. <laughs> and then we got into a fight. Now we have this beautiful room. Why is he sleeping on the floor? Like, I don't understand why he likes that. Um, either bed will be fine. I always sleep on the floor. <laughs> I sleep on the floor. <laughs> this is still like that. Why are you well, doing that on. now? Uh, well, you know, Mom, haven't seen me in all these years. I want to look my best. Oh. You look really good. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. It's going to change him overnight. If she's disappointed in you, then she's a fake. I don't know what else a mom could want in a son. Huh? You're right. <laughs> He's like, you're right. I'm awesome. I just want to live with you. It'd be fun. Linda. She wants to get married. Tomorrow, I'm taking my best girl to meet my mom. I'm so excited. Best girl. She's getting more excited about this than $5 million. You know what? Why? Because I only have eyes for you. He changes his tune, which I think he might. He seems like... <laughs> He's frozen again. Excuse me, we're looking for Marion Benedict, please. I'm sorry, but that's not possible. No, oh. Not possible. She's going to be very happy to see us. Well, even so, you're going to have to write a letter to the Benedict Foundation stating your business. I'm sorry. Come on now. Let's get in here. we got to talk to her. We sneak in. <laughs> Just hoist them over the side. It's not too bad an idea, actually. I hope she's really alive. Don't you think this is Baba? No, is it her? Hey, that's her. Well, we are looking for Miss Marion Benedict, please. Yeah. Is she here? The please at the end. She's our mother, is the thing. We are her sons. Twin sons. <laughs> He's really proud to say it now. Follow me. It's gotta be her. It is her. Why is she reacting like this, though? Why do you keep referring to her in a past tense? Because uh, she passed away some time ago. No, oh, come on, Anna. She passed away. I feel like this woman is lying. You said she was here. I meant her spirit. No. I thought she was the mom. She's just trying to get rid of them without... Telling him the truth. 
That's gotta be it. She looked way too suspicious. Those damn real estate developers. They won't be happy until they turn this place into a golf course. See, it is her. Do you know those two men claim to be my twin sons? There we you go. You can believe that. What? It was, it was too obvious. <laughs> I did have a child once. Well, you should be proud of her. She donates her house and her land and all her paintings to young artists. Oh. Linda, do I look like a young artist to you? He was really excited. All I wanted was make us into a family. Family, my butt. There's no family here. There's nothing here except me. See, he wants family more than anything. He's got something in the trunk that's worth millions, and I'm worried that he's going to get himself killed delivering it. Let's see how this wraps up. I don't. Yes, I have a map. All right, I'll see you there. All right, see you in Houston in the morning. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, Webster's already there. Then how will you find him? I have him in my head. Don't worry, Linda. I found him once. I'll find him again, okay? <laughs> have him in my head. Those girls have nothing. <laughs> Just... <laughs> He's using his senses. My channel used to do me. <laughs> it's just like he was touching the bed. He was here. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised. Just took it. Unless he doesn't realize that that's wrong. But he might be like, this is more important. Sorry, I'm late. I Boy, the directions you gave me weren't... Step back, Mr. Benedict. Get over here. Uh, I have, I'm unarmed. Why would they pay him five million when they can just, like... We're the fortune of the company that brings it to the market first. Somebody else developed it, but I just had to have it. What are you waiting for? Come on, Arnie. Beat root, I thought we had a deal here. We do. <laughs> See, wow. Five million bucks. You want to count it? No, you do. But I could use a lift back to town. Don't press your luck. I'm surprised. I thought they would just be like, we're going to kill you. Five million bucks. I've got to look at it. Oh, man. Webster took care of them. I mean, he knows you're there. The money, Benedict. Just give me what's mine and I'll leave you alone. He could have let them live. And just like held Danny DeVito at gunpoint. <laughs> Arnold carries that case with him everywhere. Leave my brother alone. Did you hear him? Oh, yeah. yeah, go make sure he's okay, too. You, you, yeah, you know you care. Close it. Open it, close it, open it, close it. So why didn't you go? Why didn't I go? Because he loves you. You got your money. Now take it and go live in the lap of luxury somewhere. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. You two have seen my face. Mm-hmm. Pull the lever. Third rule. Third rule? Third rule. <laughs> oh, the third. The lover, yes. Duck. That was convenient. Okay. <laughs> uh, whoa. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> An extravagant amount of chains. Thanks for coming back, Vincent. <laughs> We're brothers, right? We're family. Right. Thank you. See, he was willing to give up five million dollars for his brother. We don't have to give it back. Yes, we do. Wow. We don't give it back. Wow. 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 Time to return to Stroll and Vincent. 
I think you better come take a look at this. That's how she's coming back in the picture. I was like wondering. See, they were telling the truth. Oh, this makes me happy because she's gonna go to them and then they're gonna have a family. There he is. She's angry at you because you lied I to her. Stole my family. Oh, you lying son of a. Probably don't deserve this, That's but... right. You don't deserve it. Oh, he really has changed. Did? Come on, he knew that was in there. Oh. He doesn't want to be a bad guy anymore. Well, good night, Mr. Benedicts. Good night. Benedicts. What do we have left out of the $50,000 reward? Well, after we've paid off all our debts, we have exactly $12,278. $12, and then the mom's going to come in. $4 million. I mean, just say it. Say it. Is it $4 million? It's a lot of money, Jules. It's supposed to be $5 million, so he kept some. Very proud of you. <sighs> well, yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself. Well, you're a great guy, too. Look, you came back for me, huh? You came, you did steal a car, though. I borrowed one. She brought a teddy bear? I'm sorry. I didn't know. You, you see, I didn't believe your story. I mean, who would believe a crazy story like that? So she lied to you. They lied to me all these years. They lied to you, too. Aww. We followed each other. Their ties match. It's great. Mama. <laughs> mama. Oh, mama. <laughs> They're saying mama. mama. <laughs> there you go. You got two sons. Oh, the love. So cute. I just can't get over how alike they are. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, now they've had twins. It's a happily ever after. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> this music. That's really cute. It ended on such a happy note. Yeah, guys, this was a good, it's a good, silly, funny, lighthearted, it's not taking itself seriously, which is good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, an Arnold movie that I needed to see, I think we're gonna do Running Man and some other ones. I've, of course, seen the major ones like Terminator, love Terminator. Uh, but this was great, guys, thank you for joining me with watching this old school movie. It was fun. It was fun. Okay, well, I guess I will catch you guys next time on Popcorn Roulettes. Thanks for joining.